But I, I don't think... Excuse me, I don't think we have any um, emote emotes un unlocked right now. Let me look. Let me look. Excuse me, I'm hiccuping like crazy. Yeah, we, we just have the tier 2 and in, in, in tier 3 there's a, the sword. Um, but we don't have any emotes available. I just shut Twitch. I can't see chat. I shut Twitch. My bad. Let me let me go back to my my channel. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, those those are some some solid follower emotes. And this is a human dungeon. Shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad at all. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Actually, are we good here? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Double checking some PC stuff. Okay, sorry, sorry. I literally just went silent. Um, oh, I wanted to make sure we had room to record. Make sure the recordings weren't going to get yeeted today. Shout out to Nightbot, shout out to Nightbot. And if you don't know, if you don't know, Nightbot is indeed letting you know about Prime Gaming. Um, it's a really great tool if you have Amazon Prime, um, which of course a lot of people do have. Um, you can get a free Twitch Twitch, uh, Twitch uh, sub to any channel of your choice every single month. You can get one free sub for life to anywhere you would like. If you want to use it here, that would be awesome. But if you want to, if you want to use it anywhere else, that's also totally fine. But if you have Amazon Prime, you should really get, you get it linked to your Twitch account and get Prime Gaming. It's very good. Lots of free rewards, um, lots of, you know, extra support for the streamers you love, so I, I fully, fully endorse it. And we have found a secret room on this character, but we could find more. There's always more. And this is a great start. A library right away? That's perfect. Ooh, uh, disenchant? Yeah, whatever. Could be worse. Could be worse. Little doggo. Ooh, an enchantment. That's what I'm talking about there. I'll just let those guys make their way downtown. They will die. Okay, I was like, I think the dog is dead. I couldn't really see it, but I was pretty sure that killed it. Okay, he should bleed to death. Oh, we're thirsty. Are we hungry? Did I eat food before we left? Oh, we have the pancakes. Doesn't really matter. We have food. Oh, and I gotta not eat from the, the water skin. I gotta eat from... Ooh, let's go! We needed a Vivi. That's actually Pog. Um, but I got a drink from the uh, the chalice. It's just it's slightly better. The one percent there, and it gets rid of pain and stuff. It's worth it's worth drinking from. You're not dead, are right, you? Dead? You're dead. Indeed, indeed, the Vivi, the legendary Vivi. Shout out to Niata. They made they made that art for me. I'm very happy with it. I, I've I've been very very happy with it the uh, the whole time. I honestly, I thought I thought we would get more Vivi usage. I thought people would, would use that emote more than they have. Uh, you know, use the emotes as much as you want. Live, you know, live your own life. Um, but I, I thought it was going to get uh, more and more usage than we have. I think our, our most used emote is either um, Rip, the animated Rip, or the GG. I think, I think those, I was just posting them, I think those are our most used emotes right there. Or the dog, maybe the dog. Picture, picture my Brady boy. And we got, we got two items. They're both food, but two items. Um, but the, the doggo picture gets a lot of use too. I personally think the rip is the best. I love the animated rip, how it fades between the uh, the images. I think that's really good. Always been a big fan of that one. But I don't know. I like them all. I'm happy with our emotes. I used to not be so happy with them. I just got sick. But I'm happy with them now. Ooh, they've improved to a point where I think they're, they're solid. I don't think they're good yet, like perfect, but I think they're, you know, at a decent level. They're respectable. Okay. Yeah, good enough. This dungeon's kind of had, like, nothing in it. It's been very meh so far. The loot, the enemies, it's all kind of just been, like, meh. Easy, easy to forget. But it is a two floor though. The second floor might might provide some hype. And this room sucks. Uh, two archers and a mage is terrible. I do not want to have to deal with that room. I'm 
trying to bait their their arrows. So that... Oh, dude, he shot the archer twice. Let's go. Or he shot the mage twice. Okay, so they're out of arrows. So it's it's just the mage now, essentially. These two dudes are really weak. They don't present much of a threat. At all. Please die. You really? How are you not dead? Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, the, the mage locked me in, dude. There's fire in front and behind me. Let's wait for it to go out. Okay, we're good. I, I should look for a trap, though, because we're kind of low health. If, if I were to step on a trap, I could have killed me, so... I'm okay spending that time looking for a trap. And you know what? The healer's staff? That reminds me to pull my healer's staff out. And that's a lot of arrows. Maybe enough arrows to, to make worthwhile. And there is a dude coming from the south there. I saw him moving on up. He'll get here eventually. There he is. He's fine. Oh, it's two dudes. They're, they're both easy to kill. I am not afraid. All right. And I don't know if we'll end up carrying these arrows. It's six of them right now. What's that, like 30 bucks? Yeah. You invest on athletic skill? None yet. We have we have no points in athletics so far. Um, athletics currently has nothing in it at all. But I, will, I have been considering going for dash. Um, I don't know when, um, because we have we have our points planned out for level ten. But give the daggers and use it to throw. I know I could. I just I, I don't want to. Um, I'm too lazy, honestly. It would it would almost certainly be for the best to do that, but I just don't want to. That's just me being a lazy gamer. Push from stash to daggers. Yeah, the the switch is really important. That's one I I need to like remember to do. It's a huge huge damage increase. The crit and the counter. Um, it really matters. So that one I gotta make sure I'm doing. Well, how did I bleed? Did I get counterattacked? Where did where did that bleed come from? Cauterize it. But I have I have no idea why I started bleeding just there. Hmm. I don't want those boots. They're not gonna sell for like anything. Solve that up. 99 health. Just the higher the better. You know. I I would love if it was over 100. Go ahead and swap. Perfect. Actually perfect. Okay, let's go. There's a secret room in here. There is not a secret room in here. Never mind. I'm gonna keep calling it. I'll be right one day, man. But I just gotta keep saying it. The law of large numbers will come through for me. I should have had the, the, the staff out here. We should be alright. Yeah, we're fine. I didn't mean to pick that sword up. That's that's a little problematic. Picking up that sword caused me a lot of trouble there. Not not close to dead or anything, but it was it was bad. It was a easily an, uh, an extra hit there. And then we got stunned, so it, it kind of compounded. Um, so that was that was a bad play. That's all right. Hungy, we can eat ham. Little hungo, little hamo. You're an archer. You're fine. You're just a little baby archer. Okay, now this is where the secret room is. All right, whatever. Or not. Okay, we're done with floor one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an arrow there. Swap to my staff while I'm at it. You know, all the, all the walking we're doing, this swap is actually good for healing, not just for, for getting the, the trigger of the, the dagger swap skill. This will actually get us healed up a little more. And I think we have healing efficiency somewhere. Maybe I rolled over it. I thought I had healing efficiency on one of my items, so I guess not, though. But it did heal us up, the staff. You know, we were 95. We're up to 101, probably 102 by the time we get down there. Not quite. Should be 102 soon, though. Ooh, yo, that, I, that was... Th okay, thank you, Gabe. I just clicked. I could have stepped on that for sure. Herbalist Hut, did they change the stave? No, this was the staff from the Herbalist Hut. Um, I I disenchanted it. Um, I don't remember why. It was to show off something. But it, this this was the herbalist uh, hut. I just disenchanted it. Why well, I can't remember why. There was there was some reason. I had some reason. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know exactly what it was. Okay, this is a horror. This is this is truly tremendously bad. I will almost certainly be using a baby here. Yeah, this guy running in actually helped a lot. The fact that he schmooped into me and we got second one there that's good. Saved me from babying at least. Pain meds. We can paint it up. We got pain meds. That's fine. Those the double mage. They're just so annoying. The mages are just so annoying. So double mage is just terrible. You hate to see it. 
Okay, let's go. Drink chalice. You're totally right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I might have been sipping this whole time, not from the chalice. I don't know how many sips we've taken, not from it. I know at the beginning of the mission we didn't sip out of it, and I told myself to start sipping, but I don't really know if I did. Okay, we're full. Check this anyways. Yeah. Eat it now. You can hit me through that? I, that's, that's, I, I, I debate that. That is not two tiles away. I guess it is, but whatever. Okay. Again, the dungeon's kind of been meh. It's been very forgettable. This has been like the, the most like bland dungeon one could ever like like try to even hope for. No no exciting enemies. The, the most exciting thing was those double mages. There's been no sick loot. Standard dudes everywhere. I don't know. It just, it just feels very normal. It's like the most normal dungeon I've ever done. Mm, sure. And is the backpack empty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Um, I'll hold those there. So if we if we pick up more and you know stack them up, then we don't have to get weird with it going to the backpack. Sure. Do we want to enchant something? We can enchant these boots actually. I won't wear them for that long. Let's go. Four health. That's, that's like the fifth four the fifth four health enchant I've gotten on this character. Um. Yeah. We have health. 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 And then health here too. Yeah. We we have four four health enchants right now. That's really good. That is very solid. Did he not see me? Okay, yeah, he didn't actually see me. Alright. Militia Bill. Or like Militia Bob. Ooh, let's go. Steal fragments. Um, we can put that on right now. Perfect. You love to see it. And I'll, I, we've we found like three splints in this dungeon, but why not take them? If we're not getting anything else, it's it's like sure. You know, it is meds we'll use eventually. It's money I'm saving down the road. Justin removes all negative effects from the physical effects. Um, bleeding was the only example I used to know. I don't know what physical effects it removes anymore. Um, bleeding was the only one, but they changed that to a duration effect now. So I don't really know what what physical effects it can remove anymore. Because it doesn't remove um like if your arm is broken, it doesn't fix that. Um, so I don't. I I feel like it's pretty much now just magical effects. There's, there's probably something it gets rid of, though. Maybe stun? Um, well, while you're stunned, you can't use it. While you're stunned, you can't use it. Or you shouldn't be able to, at least. You might be able to, though, because you can Vivi while you're stunned. Well, not Vivi, but healing self. You can self while you're stunned, so you might be able to use it. But, yeah, it might get rid of, like, days and stuff like that. Maybe negative mood effects? I don't know. Um, I most I just get rid of the curses though. I think it's easily worthwhile if even if all you're doing is getting rid of the the cursed stuff like the the cursed uh, debuffs the magical ones. Oh come now! All right, more boots. They're like, are you sure you don't want these riding boots? We got more of them. We'll get rid of that. We have plenty of them. I had to get rid of something. A single splint is fine. If something's got to give, a splint is normally what gives, and we have like four. So, all right, is this the dungeon? Was that it? No, not quite. There's there's a little bit more. Okay, and how much EXP did we earn? Nah, we're actually getting close to level 9. You know, it was a two floors, so... Maybe we will be getting up to that troll pretty soon. Maybe we will troll fight today. Maybe, just maybe. Okay. Stop, stop it. And the archer will just shoot at me. It's whatever. I'll run out of arrows eventually. One, two. I mean, it's we're getting closer to a full stack of them. You know, they're, they're, I still think they're worthwhile, but I really would like a full stack. And if we farmed the archers, that would be more likely, but no shot. Not doing that. That sounds terribly boring. All right, I should have the staff out. That's a habit I have. I really need to get into. I have just used to have, but I just, like, broke the habit, and I got to reform it. Ooh, a library. Let's go. We started in a library, and we get to finish in a library. That's perfect. It's my, my absolute favorite room. Just the possible loot density is, like, super, super awesome. This is maybe the greatest room for loot that you could get via the libraries. Doesn't always work out. You know, it's not a guarantee I'll get a bunch of loot here, but... That's not what I meant to do. I meant to open... But uh, I think I think it's like the best chance. The Vivi 
this here. And two Vivis, one tier two. That's solid. That's a solid little dungeon. Um, you know, I was saying this was very, like, average or whatever, but two Vivis it helps, helps it be slightly less average, slightly better than average. Jam and scroll. Um... I don't, this is the only thing I would enchant because I'm pretty sure my weapon yet yeah, is the fire damage. I don't really like the unholy res. I'll roll over it. Flat health would go really hard. Health resto doesn't go so hard. Ooh, a potion. We can ID it. We can just do this and then ID it real quick. And then just put it in the backpack. Mana burn potion. I don't know who that would be useful for. Like, I don't, I, maybe a mage? Does it burn all of your mana? What does it say? It doesn't say anything. So maybe I could throw it at a mage and, like, dunk him. But I don't know. That, that one seems not so hot. I don't think that mana potion is very good. We'll probably just sell it for 80 bucks, which is good cash. That's 40 bucks a tile. It's not, 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 not bad in terms of the money. Okay. Decent little dungeon. Decent little dungeon. Up to 109 health because of the enchant. And, uh, you know, we're, we're getting there. So if we did take the ring off, we would have one, 129 health, um, which is kind of a lot. For, for no vitality? Because we literally have no vitality. That's a respectable amount of health. Where's the door? Literally. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, it was by the library. Just find the library. Much of burns could be good versus Merc Stalkers or some bosses. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's like half their mana or all of it. But I'll probably just like sell it, honestly. Uh, you know, by the, by the time we get to Merc Stalkers, I could probably get another one if I found it that valuable, you know? So I'll probably just end up eating it. Oh, dude, my tea. Let me go get my tea. It's just, it's over brewing. It's way too dark by now. It is still warm, chat. Still warm. Still warm, chat. Still warm. He has not gone cold. Necros and Acolyte Mages replenish energy damage so they almost never run out. Yeah, because they hit you with the energy drain spell. They hit you with a little nine damage that gives them nine energy. It's annoying. It's annoying. But I, I could, you know, if I wanted to throw the mana burn at someone, I would probably just throw it at a human, a human mage. I think that's maybe where the, uh, the most value could be. I'm going to sip some tea. Moment of silence. Okay, the cup is not that hot, but the tea itself is too hot still. The cup cooled down, but the tea is very warm. The cup's nice and warm, though, holding on to it. I don't know if this is something, like, everyone does, but I love holding my, my like, coffee mug or my tea mug when I'm chilly to suck the warm out of the cup. What's the range on throw? Um, not that good. I mean, I don't have strength, so that can scale it, but it's not that good. I think you can throw potions at four tiles? When we go home, I'll check. Um, I just don't. Uh, it's in the backpack right now. So I bet it's the same as this. Yeah, it looks like it's three tiles. I bet it's the same as a Vivi. I could just check right now, honestly. Just do that. That's no big deal. Oh, no, it's massive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And again, that's with no strength, which scales your throw, your throw range. So... Um, it's very big. You, you could definitely throw it at a mage. I thought I thought it was much shorter than that. I was like four, and four is good enough, but seven's a lot. I was I was acceptable with four. I would have walked away with that. So I'm very bogged to see seven there. And what's our crit? It's, it's like 45 or something, right? Yeah, 43 crit chance when that's fully stacked. That is nice. Seems pretty uh, usable on human mages. Yeah, it seems doable. It seems doable. Wouldn't have been that good if in my original initial assumption of four, um, but at seven, that's that's throwable. Most mages shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't outrange seven. And if they do, it'll only be by like a little. You get to T4 carried around for those crazy mages. I'll just sell it before then, honestly. Um, like I'll just sell it when we go home. Um, but it, I bet it would be really good. And the tier four mages are like terrifying. They're not. They're not easy. They're very spooky. So it could be good. It could be very useful. Um, but I think I will dip into Magic Mastery by the time we're there, for at least this. 
And I, I dissipation is so good. I think I think dissipation helps so much versus ma mages. Um, just fighting one mage, it's a little value, like a little protection. But if you're fighting like two mages or a mage that's like left damage over time effects on you, um, or like on the ground around you, um, it can really start to stack up a lot of damage, uh, damage reduction that is. And of course it provides energy back to you. It is a way to attain more energy. I'm walking right past the city. What else is new? What else is new? I just, I, I, I need like a, a, a pointer that's like city this way, city this way. Cause I just walk past it way too often. It's just, it's too easy to just click and talk, man. Too easy to click and talk. I gotta, I gotta be a little attentive sometimes. The occasional attentiveness would help. 1% attention. Okay. Where is the city? Yeah, it is up. It's up. Straight up. Straight up and down. So we'll get more cash. Um, and I, I literally have, like, nothing to spend my money on. Maybe a new boot, and or, like, boots and helmets or whatever. Boots and a helmet. Um, but outside of that, there's, like, nothing that I really want to upgrade to. And I, I would love the troll helmet. It provides fortitude, which we have, um, and a bunch of control res. So it would actually get us quite a lot of fortitude between the uh, the amulet and the, the troll helmet. So, yeah, I, th I think troll helmet's 25, so we could get 40. So it would be nice to get 10 fortitude somewhere. Like, if we rolled 10 fortitude, I would probably leave it. And I think we actually had 10 fortitude on this, and I rolled over it, so I kind of regret that. That's a, a wee bit regrettable. And actually, it's getting nighttime. It would be a wee bit regrettable if we didn't shop first, because uh, I won't be able to sell this stuff off in a moment. Sell that there. I didn't know he would buy these. Everyone buy that buys them buys them for the same price. I just didn't think he would buy them at all. Open that bad boy up. Take uh, this out and that out. Okay, that's all I need to sell him. Show me your wares. And let's go up north. Poison, stagger, immobilization, or physical others. Oh, okay. Um, you getting rid of immobilization with the chalice seems sick because you often get immobilized for two turns. Um, so just getting one turn off the immobilization by sipping chalice during that turn, uh, that seems amazing. Like that's 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 really good. And this technically is a ring we could curse, but I'm not gonna wear a plain silver ring late game. I simply won't do it. I don't want any of those rings either. So I'm selling that one. Though it's technically a curse candidate, I'm selling it off. Hey Rage, how are you doing? Oh, and I had a I had a question, Rage, that I, I was gonna ask yesterday, but I closed up the stream. Um, have you ever had a mage blood before? Was this your first time? I know you said you got a mage blood on that character. Were you, did you have one before? Um, it's really cool. I've had I I grinded one out one time. Um, and it was cool. It was very fun. I quit the league shortly after because that was like my final goal. But it was it was a very neat experience having one. It was great to see you, Rage. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. And for anyone unsure, like what's a mage blood? What are they talking about? It's a belt in Path of Exile. That's really good. It's uh, probably the best item in the game. No first time. Let's go. It was amazing. I'm I'm really happy for you, man. I am really happy to hear that. Um, it's absolutely amazing. It's really really good. I like it a lot more than Headhunter. Um, and not even on like a power level like comparison. I just prefer using it over using Headhunter. Um, and Headhunter, for anyone wondering, is also, you know, it's the other really, really OP item in the game. It's the one of the other strongest items in the game, and it's also a belt. Chain map boss while leveling also. That's insane. That's 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 very cool. Um, the mage blood I had, I just bought for 170 exalts. I just paid a lot of money for it. I was not lucky enough to find it. I've, I don't know if I've ever found a, a tier zero drop like that. Um, like, I've, I've found uh, Calms and stuff like that, but those are tier ones, not tier zeros, I think. It's 330 divs or so. That's a lot of money, dude. That is a lot of money. Um, I've never I've never played Poe um, with, with the div changes. I haven't, since, since they made divs the standard currency, divines, um, divine orbs the standard currency, I haven't actually played a league very far. So I'm still not, like, the idea of trading in divines all the time is still not, like, normal to me. Um, you know, I still think that, like, oh, if you want you want a, you want a mage blood, you're paying exalts. But no one's paying exalts for a mage blood. Pretty sure exalts are, like, 20 coins right now. They're not 20 coins, like 20 chaos or something. Um, 
So it's it's very weird. How many days on this? Okay, five days. I'm gonna sleep. I should have slept before we took the quest. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep now though. Took a while for you to get used to it for me too. Yeah. And I think that destroyed standard. I think when they switched the um, the standard the standard uh, trading over from uh, exalts to divines, um, the standard economy got like absolutely smashed. Uh, so you know there were many people with thousands of exalts in standard. Um, that had just been stalking them up for years. And all of their wealth got, like, taken from them. All the, the divine stackers were suddenly so much richer. But that's standard. No one no one really cares. I mean, there are some people that care, but it's, like, 0.1% of the community. Like, 99% of players play on leagues and don't really care for standard. Okay, ID scrolls, of course. Um, This thing for the pain meds. Don't really need anything else. Maybe another splint. We have splints outside. Yeah, we're good to go. This is fine. Let's skedaddle. Actually, you know what? Mind words. Just in case. Just in case. That's just future proofing. It was amazing. Major proof was on the third character I made. The second I did was so cool. What what characters did you make? What builds were you going for? I, uh, of course, I didn't, like, make any builds. Um... I have no idea what was like meta this league either. I know people are using shockwave totems to cheese the um, the league the league mechanic, but I don't think that was meta uh, for like actually playing the game. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.